Memorial Day weekend serves as a kickoff to summer, but it's also a very important time to remember those who died serving our country. Hundreds of people across central and eastern Kentucky took time today to honor the fallen heroes. One ceremony was at the Lexington National Cemetery. Monique Blair talks to a woman who tries to pay tribute to everyone buried in the cemetery. The Lexington Cemetery filled with red, white, and blue today as hundreds paid tribute to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. It's just a fascinating place because a lot of times you'll see brothers uh, buried next to brothers, and one was Union, one was Confederate, and that was the house divided that you hear about. This is Laura Lawler. It's just one of those things that when you just feel something very deeply and very personally, you just don't question it. Three years ago, Lawler began digging into the cemetery's rich history that dates back to the 1800s. It just becomes part of you. Uh, uh, flipping through a magazine, I saw a picture of General Morgan, and just something spoke to me that this was something I needed to investigate. Lawler doesn't only come out here to remember and honor fallen soldiers, she also dedicates her time to learn more about each person who's buried out here. This is uh, someone 35 years old, Joshua McMichael, M Michael, Joshua Michael, being remembered today. And, you know, I can't even see when he died, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Someone's remembering him one way or another. For Lawler, every day that she visits the cemetery is Memorial Day. Nobody really wants to be forgotten, and that's what this whole day is about. It's a wonderful tribute to everyone in the country and here, and it's just Lexington Cemetery is special. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Lawler says because of all the rich history she's discovered in the Lexington Cemetery, she's now working on writing a book.